Okay. So your patient is going to be sidelined. Okay. What you're going to do is you're going to flex the knee to 90. You're going to flex the hip to 90. You're going to adduct the hip. Abduct the hip. Extend the hip. And then try to let the leg down, and you can see, while keeping it still, nothing's happening. It's not going down. Gravity is not doing its job. So that is a positive Ober test. And how we would measure that is you would need somebody, usually what would happen is if I found a positive Ober test, relax, uh, then I would get an assistant because I cannot be behind the patient in positioning and in front measuring Adduction. So it's a two-person. You can find that the test is positive yourself. You can't measure it yourself. So you need somebody else to say, here, can you come over and measure that? You could guide them, even if they didn't know what they're doing, say, put the axis here, here, here. So a Ober test is positive if you don't go into at least 10 degrees of ABW. Okay, so she was parallel with the table. So she had zero degrees of ABW. Uh, just eyeball that we didn't measure, but eyeball uh, at least that. So that would have been over test positive at zero degrees because it's only negative when it gets to 10 degrees of adduction. Um, so let me show you the difference, Josh. Come on up. Believe it or not, and this is not always you know a, a, a gender based thing. So that, that was a positive over test. Okay. So this one, <laughs> knee flex to 90, hip flex to 90, adducted, abducted, so just about every motion you can do that, uh, extended, and then we let it go, and you can see his knee goes down, and relative adduction, you can see hers was up here, his is down here. So he's at least 10 degrees of adduction, so that's a negative uh, over test. If you if you really wanted to see, you know, uh, and, and measure it to see if it was over ten, by all means you can. Uh, but he's, I, I can tell he's probably so. Usually, if you can get down toward toward at least the knee, or your some I tested somebody else and it was we were surprised you were actually hitting the table. Mm -hmm. uh, so you were even even looser. Uh, so that would be a negative one. So uh, if it's if it's parallel or not seeming like it's going down. But one of the things to uh, and, and even as, uh, and you could see what with Susie, she started to, to roll and twist because it was so tight. So you want to make sure that you keep them in sideline. And all this kind of jazz that we're doing here, there's a very good rhyme or reason. You just can't take the patient, pull them back, and, and, and do that. What you're trying to do is you're trying to position the TFL directly over the greater trochanter uh, to test for the Ober's test. So that's, that's where all these you know, things come in that you got to do in the order that you got to do them to test for the over test. Okay? So, do you think her leg would come down if you didn't do the it? It may. Like, like she was just here and brought the leg back, do you think it would come down because it, it didn't do Exactly. And that's the reason why you've got to go through all that positioning. Okay.